Hello everyone and welcome back to Critical Rocket. It is October 20th, it is patch day, and it is also the arrival of the Wolfhound. Uh, the latest light mech from Resistance Pack 2. Uh, this particular uh, light mech is a 35 tonner, all energy, a bit like the Crab, a bit like the Black Knight uh, before it. Uh, developed by Haus Steiner way back in the day to be the uh, counter to the Jenner and the Panther. Now, uh, the quick build you saw there in the mech lab is completely uh, default. I, the only thing I've changed actually for a change is the camo scheme. The engine is, the, is stock, uh, the weapons are stock, the heat sinks are stock, and uh, it comes in at 34.9 tonne for some reason. Um, so yeah, no no additions, no changing in internal structure out like that. And uh, all I did was remove one of the medium lasers. And, and the reason for that is, is that strictly the Wolfhound doesn't have four medium lasers on the front. It has three and one on the back. They've moved the one from the rear to the CT, so I just removed it. And uh, overall, as a, a quick hint to the end, uh, the removal of the fourth laser is actually a really big boon to heat. <laughs> you don't overheat anywhere near as quickly as I imagine you would if you had four medium lasers firing at the same time. Uh, speed is before any kind of uh, speed tweak being applied and just using the stock engine that comes with it, which I think is a standard 210, you run at about 97.2, which isn't bad. Around about the same speed as I believe the Panther could get up to uh, in a default loadout. Uh, Hitboxes again, they felt pretty solid all around, uh, much like the Crab, didn't feel like I was getting um, any particular section blown out any quicker than any other. Um, it's a solid little build, uh, right from the off anyway, I only mean, a single ER large in the right arm and the mediums to back it up uh, in the centre torso and the, strictly the left and right in the centre, but it kind of looks like one central block there. And uh, it's a good, I, I can see it in its default lot of being a great little harasser, uh, it's good at targeting uh, bigger mechs at range with its ER large and uh, sort of annoying the crap out of them. Probably the biggest downside right from the office, no jump jets. Uh, at least on this version, which was the Wolfhound 2R, so the resistance version. Um, outside of that, heat is heat is still an issue, of course. You can't fire the lasers all the time, uh, largely because you will uh, very, very uh, quickly find that you don't have enough room for heat sinks, uh, even if you do mess around with the combination of weapons. Uh, I didn't look at the quirks, but no doubt it's got a lot of energy uh, buff quirks, and I wouldn't be surprised if people start doing things like medium pulse builds or small pulse builds, uh, as is the case with any light mech that has a ton of energy slots. Small small lasers or small pulses are generally the best way to go about it, obviously, and uh, probably with a decent sized XL engine in there it can get up to some really ridiculous speeds. So, uh, Whether this is a counter to the Arctic Cheetah in Mech Warrior Line, Obviously, is yet to be determined. I don't know. Lacks, in, lacks ECM capability, doesn't have jump jets. However, it mm, it may do a little better with uh, a more medium laser focus build than a small laser build. As I said, it certainly felt like it could take more damage um, than even the acquired. even the Black Knight at launch, but uh, it seemed like they got the hitboxes right on this mech as well. So two for two on the on the medium and the lights. And uh, alongside the Mauler, the, the entire resistance pack has, has brought us uh, four really, really solid mechs, uh, so far in my opinion. Uh, if you were looking to get this a la carte, um, much like the Crab, much like the Black Knight, it's pretty straightforward. If you like energy builds, there's not really much to go wrong with this one. Uh, I think in this match, I did I did pretty, pretty well uh, for a stock loadout with no modules or anything like that. So I think I got like three kills and five or six assists. So that was pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I mean, as usual, these things, it, they're so basic, there's not really a hell of a lot to talk about um, outside of where you can maybe go build-wise, um, or, you know, what its drawbacks are. And it, as I said, its most obvious drawback is the heat situation. I wouldn't say speed is an issue, really, because uh, with a standard 210, it's pretty quick. Uh, the field of view is obviously very good, as you can see, the cockpit. I'm not very happy with the actual visual design, uh, uh, whereas similar to the Black Knight, it's another mech that could have looked really good and they've opted for a kind of, I don't know, a slightly off design in my opinion. It doesn't look ugly, don't, don't get me wrong, I don't think it looks shit. I just don't think it looks like the Wolfhound proper, uh, which if you check it out on Sana you should see the original Wolfhound, which had a much, uh, in my opinion, a much cooler looking uh, head for the battle mech. And they've gone for this sort of TV screen appearance. It looks better in game than the screenshots 
uh, made it out uh, to be originally. Okay. Uh, also, this patch uh, does bring along a bunch of other uh, minor tweaks. Uh, the camo uh, spec okay. screen has now been completely updated. They now have this new ridiculous hexagonal fucking nightmare pattern uh, of colours that you can pick from. Uh, it has a nice little preview though, when you hover over them over the colour it shows what, what channel on the mech will be painted. Uh, so it's useful for that, for being able to quickly see what do different parts look like without having to actually like click every different colour. Um, and obviously if you if you bought the pack you can redeem your content on the website now and you can get your uh, cam uh, camo schemes uh, for every faction if you bought uh, the top tier pack and obviously uh, four or two, uh, depending if you got a lower uh, package on that one. Uh, so yeah, that about rounds it out. Uh, Wolfhound uh, is a very good mech, it's a very good light. Uh, I could see it uh, quickly becoming a, a, a favourite with some players out there, uh, especially for the uh, the all energy loadouts. Nice speed, decent hitboxes, um, and it seems to have a lot of uh, a lot of open endedness with regards uh, to energy builds and being able to customise it to your exact specifications. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't be surprised if people start going crazy and trying to do like PPC builds and that kind of thing, but it seems entirely plausible on this Mac. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I'll just uh, leave at the end here. We're just chasing some. Uh, I think funnily enough, the last person on the enemy team is a Wolfhound as well. So uh, once again, thanks for watching, folks. Have a good one and uh, stick around for future videos. I'll be doing a Twitch stream of the Wolfhound and uh, this week, and I'll also be. Uh, there'll be a new lore warrior uh, about the wolfhound as well so it's wolfhound week on uh, critical rocket so sign out